Welcome to Universal Studios and London Waterfront. I've been here a few times, but I haven't done any video of it. Not too crowded today. Fountain just turned on. It's cool. Here's the King, King's Cross uh, train station. Entrance is right there. And get on a train and take you to Islands of Adventure. Wow, 60 minute wait for the train. There's the inside. And right over there, they check your ticket and make sure you have a dual park pass. When you're walking through London, there's all kind of details. Bookstore. The actual entrance is right here, um, just past the underground sign on the brick door and check out the night bus. A lot of people are lined up there to see the shrunken head, but if you come in the back of the bus, you can actually go in this rear area and see inside of it. See? It's all decked out just like the movie and they got the chandelier, everything. The entrance to Diagon Alley is right there through the bricks with the exit right there. But there is an alternative way in, which is right there. We're going to go on the main entrance. store you go in there and they said all sorts of merchandise related to quidditch and next to it is weasley's wizard wheezy it's like a trick store lots of neat stuff in there Ah, you can see the other one. 
bunch of them inside the hole. They're all moving, turning their heads, blinking. Pretty cool. Blacksmith shop. There's two of these spell casting areas here. We've got IR wands. You do the symbol that's on the crown. And when you do that, the items in here do what they are. It's the hopping pot. They sell all the specialty drinks available in there at Diagon Alley. Yes, they do sell alcohol. Well, uh, this is one of two live shows they have here. Pretty 
nice. These wet day slurry. There's the beers I've had. My favorite's Wizard's Brew. Potion shop. As you can see in here, it's all covered and night. There's a few uh, interactive wand stations. Really want to meet you. 